Here all uh, we'll see file structure in WebSphere environment. So I would say uh, generic file structure. Uh, maybe you can. It would it would differ a little bit uh, based on the projects. So the default uh, file structure would be like this. So I have IBM and then WebSphere and then App Server. So in general, the path uh, till here it is called uh, VAS root. And uh, again, uh, if it is in the Linux, it would be something like opt slash VAS slash something. And if it is Windows, uh, you would be you would be having files in the program files and then IBM. <coughs> so in short, uh, in many places, IBM, WebSphere, and then App Server. These these structure would be uh, same and maybe uh, again based on the projects it could differ so on the whole uh, this app server folder is called vas root and so vas root uh, this is the first root uh, which you would get after installing WebSphere. so well again you would be having some insula installation process so this is called vas root and well uh, if you refer to my pre previous videos uh, you will you will find the complete web sphere course so in the web sphere we would be having profiles so <clears throat> so till here it is called profile root i mean this is the place where uh, the profile is configured so till here it is called profile root and so till here it is called vas root and uh, till here it is called profile root and so in the profile root to start to stop uh, so all uh, executable files those would those would exist in the bin folder and so well again uh, for the logs you can refer to the logs folder and again uh, in the logs you can go to the jvm the name of your jvm and in there at the uh, in, in that folder you you can find the logs you can um, yeah I'm, I'm just highlighting the important folders so apart from these two the config folder is important and in the config you will have cells so cell is an uh, important structure in the web sphere so in the cells uh, you would have some cell uh, the, the main folder and in that you will have nodes so in the file structure, uh, the cells and the nodes are important. Why? Because in the cell, you would find the cell folder, the main folder of your uh, deployment manager, I can say. And then in the cell, you would have nodes. So in the nodes, you can find all the federated nodes in your environment. So these files would uh, generally uh, ref, uh, related to the specific nodes, I mean specific profiles. So that's where nodes comes into the picture. So it's like it's a combination of uh, your application server profile and deployment manager profile. So those two uh, profiles uh, files would be here. Uh, I can say in other words, suppose if you do any changes uh, uh, in your profile, uh, uh, like if you want to do any changes only to particular this one profile, you can go into that profile and you can change the config files then you know the changes would apply only to, do, to that particular profile so in short if you want to do changes uh, to any specific profile you can go to these profile uh, folders i mean these uh, node folders and uh, you can change the change the configuration accordingly so i repeat so in the nodes you will find all the federated nodes like deployment manager application application servers I mean, up, uh, in other words, federated application server profiles to deployment manager. So, well, uh, let us uh, keep technical terms apart. So, in your environment, if you want to do changes to any specific profile, uh, you can go to that uh, related folder and you can uh, do the changes. That is uh, general terms. So, if I revise, so uh, till here it is VAS root. So, till here it is VAS root here it is profile root so till here it is a cell folder until it is, it is a node folder okay. and uh, so generally in, in your company you might go to this cell folder and you can go to the cell and then here you can do some uh, configuration changes as per your requirement um, so 
we will go through about this XML files later. So you would have many files, one of the important files is resources where you can configure GDBC settings and another important file is security, uh, security.xml which is related to authentication. So based on your uh, requirement you can modify the changes. So what I want to say is you, you, uh, this cell folder uh, may be required to do some uh, configurations manually. So this is little bit about um, uh, file architecture uh, in the web sphere environment and um, yeah that's a little bit about web sphere I can say and then if we go about front end so as we know uh, web sphere uh, would be integrated with the front end uh, like Apache or IBM HTTP server or uh, IS so here uh, I have integrated with HTTP server in the real time HTTP server would be in the separate uh, host so there again for the web server you would have some config files and uh, like I can say this is one of the important config files uh, would, which would have details about your web sphere integration details as well and your application details all those stuff so you'd have a config folder and you'd have config file and then as usual you would have some uh, logs for log uh, log folder and then yeah so yeah so while integrating a uh, front end uh, with web sphere you uh, one plugin folder would be created so in the plugin you would have configuration uh, and you'd have some web server so there you would have some config file plugin hyphen cfg.xml uh, which is the main file uh, related to your uh, integration between front end and the web sphere like any front end could be anything like apache ibm http server or is so this file is uh, this file is important for integration with a web server to the web sphere and um, yeah and then logs uh, so you can go to the web server and this is the important log if you have any issues related to uh, Apache server and web sphere integration you can find errors here this is important log and yep so this is about plugin and this is about uh, that's uh, IBM HTTP server so if I repeat uh, in IBM HTTP server we have seen a config file uh, http.conf and then we have seen logs like access.log.error.log and uh, we have seen a plugin folder so when we integrate IBM HTTP server with WebSphere this plugin folder will be created where you can see the config file plugin ipncfg.xml and then you can see the logs httpd underscore plugin.log so well, uh, this is a little bit about a web sphere architecture uh, through which you can understand understand file structure and through which you can navigate to the logs and uh, config files and uh, even like uh, commands. I mean, uh, I have even I have even even show the uh, path for bin folder through through which through where uh, you can start and stop the services of your web server or web sphere application server. So yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is a little, little glance about uh, file structure uh, in your web sphere environment. And, uh, thanks for listening to this class. And uh, if you do like the cl class, please click on a thumbs up, and please subscribe to the channel so that uh, it, it would encourage me to create uh, more videos. And if you want to learn complete web sphere administration, please refer to my uh, course. Uh, you can find in my channel. I have prepared complete course. Um, yep, thanks. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.